What is it with Disney employees liking children? And I mean in the nefarious way, in the degenerate way, in the evil way. I don't mean just people liking kids, you know, oh hey, you know, it's fun to be around, like no, 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 no. What is with it? Because this has happened quite a lot with Disney. There seems to be, I know, like newsflash, a propensity for pedos to work at a company that deals with children. But you'd think, you know, that's not a newsflash, but you'd think that Disney would be better at vetting people, wouldn't you? You really would. It's just staggering. There's been so many reports of Disney employees that engage in degenerate, disgusting behaviour. It's awful, quite frankly. It's absolutely awful. So I'm not, I don't make this video with any, I mean, there's a lot, of, this is a somber video. You know, I'm not making this video as like, haha, Disney. No, no, this is gross. It's absolutely disgusting. So according to a report from ABC affiliate WPDE News, uh, a tip, and I quote, regarding the possible possession of child prawn at a Florida residence resulted in the arrest of an employee of the Walt Disney World last Saturday. Detectives in Hernando County, north of Tampa, received a tip and identified the culprit as Michael David Foster, a Walt Disney World employee possessing child prawn. Absolutely disgusting. So Foster, aged 47, was previously a correctional officer as well. What is wrong with these people? So he was a correctional officer in Citrus County to the north and was as of Wednesday working at Walt Disney World as an overnight mechanic, according to a Disney whistleblower uh, that Bleeding Fall reported on last year. The Walt Disney Company has never publicly acknowledged or internally dealt with the hundreds hundreds of their employees that have been caught in child trafficking operations in recent years. There is a genuine problem with Disney. You'd think that they would be vetting everyone much more extensively. Now they say this, it would be nearly impossible for Disney cast members to do anything with a child on property given the alleged high surveillance. And they said this, we are watched constantly. We have cameras everywhere on us. You can't walk away with a child, so that would be pretty much an impossibility. But what people do on their own time, that's kind of scary, and it's not discussed. I would bet dollars to donuts that the leadership team never even spoke to the rest of the team about why that cast member is no longer with the company. This is the whistleblower um, who came out and spoke about all of this. So four Disney workers were among 108 people arrested in a huge child prawn sting uh, operation in Polk County, Florida in March 2022. Literally March last year, 108 people, now another person, possession of child prawn. It, it is genuinely staggering to me. Absolutely staggering. Now, that obviously added fuel to the already worldwide media firestorm over the perceptions that the company supports child grooming uh, and several other were arrested in a sting the previous year. This the, it, It's not a small amount. This has been going on for quite a while. And you got to think, are these people working around kids all day long? You know, the, the, the thought of it is absolutely disgusting. Like, I don't want to... Normally when I do these videos, you know, you, you, you sort of think to yourself, oh, you know, not these types of videos, but just my videos in general, you think, oh, you know, I'll put myself in their shoes, what were they thinking, etc. And you can sort of have that empathy level. I don't even want to consider the thoughts that these people had working around children daily. It's absolutely abhorrent. A police spokesperson uh, detailed that Michael David Foster's, uh, Foster's flash drive contained 32 images of child prawn, Foster also admitted to downloading and viewing uh, the Prono images. Detectives also seized several additional digital storage devices from within the residence. 
He was charged with 32 counts of child prawn possession and his bond was set at 10 grand for each count for a total of $320,000. According to the Sheriff's Office, additional, additional charges are possible pending digital forensic analysis of all devices seized from Foster's residence. You can absolutely bet your bottom dollar you can absolutely bet your bottom dollar that there'll be more on the other devices. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. The fact he was also a correctional officer. I mean, what's wrong with these people? Now, look, you know, I'm all for forgiveness. Not with these people. No, you deserve to have your penis mutilated. Uh, just saying. You deserve to be chemically castrated as well. Uh, and for these types of individuals, I actually genuinely don't think that's going far enough. For men, I genuinely believe they should be put on rampant amounts of estrogen. Um, so they neuter all of their sexual desires moving forwards. Not just chemical castration. I genuinely believe they should be put on estrogen to completely destroy their hormonal balance system and I, yeah I know color me uh, you know a bit extreme on these kind of topics but I really do think that that's the only course for these types of individuals I don't think you can I, I don't think you can correct this behavior and I just think pff, Disney has got such a problem with it like it's not a surprise that people who have a predisposition an affinity for children in that way would want to work around children, right? That's not a surprise. But what is surprising is Disney not having a more stringent vetting process. You know? Now, I'm not going to say that it would be easy to vet for these things, but I'm sure it's a damn sight easier than well over 108 people already. You'd think it'd be easier than that. I mean, I don't know of any other industry or employee, uh, employer, sorry, that has that much of a problem. I mean, you don't see Universal having that much of a problem, do you? For fuck's sake. Anyway, I don't really have much else to say on this. Just another massive black mark against Disney here. So I'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Um, gross. Genuinely gross. It would make me... I mean, I wouldn't want to take my kids. I don't have any, but I wouldn't want to take my kids to Walt Disney World. Oh, yeah. Oh, Dad, can we go to Walt Disney World? No, son. No, not on your life, mate. Because I don't want someone looking at you thinking disgusting thoughts. Anyway, thoughts down below.